Okay, I'm Bethany with Environmental Harmonies, and this is our lovely client. She has had this incredible chicken coop built customly for her by Carolina Coops. So we're gonna look at her chicken coop, and then Environmental Harmonies has come in behind, and we've installed a perennial, floral, and edible landscape for the chickens to enjoy, and for her and her husband and family to enjoy as well. So can you show us your incredible chicken coop and introduce yes. us to your babies? Absolutely. So these 15 babies, they're eight weeks now and they're growing and learning and the rest of them are growing up very quickly and they're very happy. And this is their outdoor run. And to the left of us, we have the hen house where they can go for protection or egg laying or whatever when they get to that point. Um, they, right now they've learned to go in and out freely. If they get too hot or too cold, they can go up the ladder and get protection. And, and this whole coop is totally uh, predator proof. It really is, oh my gosh, the lengths that have been gone to to make this whole yeah. space so predator proof. These are gonna be the most loved and happy chickens, I think, in the whole world. Right. <laughs> nice. This is where they live at night and when they want to be secure. And uh, we have a hemp base for them on the bottom. And so it's, it's wonderful. super low maintenance. Yeah, and they're little feather dusters that we're transitioning from when they were little tiny chicks and pretending that they were the, the mother hens with their feathers. <laughs> and uh, they seem to be very happy. They have a lot of great windows in here for ventilation. Right, ventilation, according to Matt, ventilation is the most important thing. And he's the chicken expert, so. He's the chicken expert. Yeah. And if you go to um, Carolina Coop's YouTube channel, uh, Matt has a ton of videos showing that whole system that he's designed for in more detail. We have special locks on the uh, run so that little raccoons and things can't can't operate them. Hi, girls. Hello, ladies. How are you? I haven't <laughs> named them yet, other than one who was the little tiny runt, but she's picked up lately, and she's over there. Would you like to come and see me, little? I don't think so. You're not very happy when I try to catch you. <laughs> These are the most friendly chickens I've ever seen. Oh, are you happy, little girls? Yes, you are. And wow. sometimes you let me pet you. It depends how happy you are. <laughs> We have a lot of accessories for them in here. Can you tell us what's going on? Well, we have a dust bath going on and they love to roll to protect themselves from mites and fleas and tick, you know, anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> right now you're just eating and you don't care. And they love it. Wow. Well, they are just incredible. Good job with them. They're so ugly and clearly just so, so happy. Yeah. Is now a good time to go look at the garden? Absolutely. So how did this all begin? So Matt was installing our chicken coop and he remembered that there was this fantastic girl who had installed a project in Santa Fe who he just, he was wowed about. And he said, you have to meet this girl. Her name is Bethany Latham and she does wonderful things with landscape and uh, we said okay so we called her she was here the next day on a flight and two weeks later we have this wonderful fairyland of chicken mag magic <laughs> yeah it's been the best experience oh my goodness and and it's exactly what we love to do with environmental harmony where we can install a landscape that's perennial plants that's good for the earth they're going to just grow and be more abundant. And I personally just love chickens so much. So being able to design a garden for chickens was so fun. <laughs> so we'll walk you through the garden and I'll answer any of the questions that you have. Great. We just, we've been here all week digging dawn till dusk basically. My crew has just been killing it. Amazing. I'm so proud of everyone. So this is uh, mostly an herb garden. This is, yes. And that is because 
Um, the qualities of the herbs will help to deter pests from wanting to get into the chicken coop. Um, insects, rodents, things like that. So we have a lot of thyme and mint and oregano growing through here, rosemary, lavender, and a lot of these are flowering too, so they'll just be so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And as we have this really, really hot sun to the west, and the chickens are going inside and hiding for a few hours, as the sunflowers and the plants that are towards the back, the anise hyssop and the veronicas get taller, they'll provide shade to the chickens as Wonderful. Well. Check out the chicken run. Okay. Oh, you lucky girls. I know. Lucky, lucky girls. Oh, sunflowers. So beautiful. So we've actually planted and seeded a lot of the really big sunflowers that will have the seeds for them all throughout here. So wow. in a, probably a month or two, you'll start to see sunflowers just shooting up right and left. And this will be great. I mean, the chickens are going to scratch and peck and just go nuts for all of these <laughs> herbs. And that'll be so good. Mint is super good for them. The oregano and thyme will be really good. They're gonna get all their essential vitamins from all these herbs. Oh my gosh, it's so great. So as this landscape matures, oh, um, so beautiful. You can imagine things like this lilac, which is the, the dark blue flowered lilacs. Um, so these, I mean, these are going to get huge, right. and then you've got your um, service berries dotted throughout the landscape that yeah. are also going to get huge, and then the grasses will get really big. So eventually this is going to be like pathways through all of these tall flowering things, and the chickens can just hide and dig and scratch around. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. We could just take a little wander through. This is northern sea oats. Sea oats. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. And this is a grass that is endangered in Michigan. So I wanted to put it in the landscape. Oh, I um, love it. Just to add some more to the, to the land here. And also because it's so, so beautiful. I mean, these little delicate oat fronds. And they'll get bigger. This gets to be about three or four feet tall. Uh -huh. So it'll get a little bit, a little bit bigger. Sea yeah. oats. Oh. I know, I love beautiful. that Beautiful. And then variegated river birches mixed in with butterfly bushes and roses. Most of these perennial shrubs that I selected for the landscape are going to get pretty big. Right. So this will be really full. And I just can't wait to come back and like three to five years, <laughs> this place is going to be totally transformed <laughs> as these plants reach maturity. Now, how will they grow? They probably like they're more like a shrub. Right, they're just a, they're a smaller shrub. So okay. these are actually pretty good size, as we can see from the fact that they already have berries. Um, so yeah. they'll probably get a little bit bigger, I'd say, and more more uh, sturdy. Right. But I don't know that they'll get too much taller. Okay. Just, I would say, just don't mow, don't do anything. Just, just let, it, let go. it go. Just water, water it and, and just let it, it do its let thing. Let it go. Let okay. the grass out here get long. If you've noticed, like the grass out here is is a mix of species, right? So there's all this clover in here. There's a lot of plantain, and those are super great. I mean, dandelions. The chickens will love all of that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So they're going to just be searching through tall grass for food. <laughs> And That's so happy. great. Yeah. So don't bother grooming it. Don't groom it. Just leave it alone. Okay. You'll see from your two blueberries up there when those ones are ripe, and you can meander on back if you want to have some for yourself. I'm sure you'll go for your little nightly strolls, strolls with the chickens. For sure. Here. I hope so. <laughs> and the little rock pads. 
Climbing roses as mm. well. So these guys, yeah. my dream for them is to just cover this in a swath of flowers and fragrance. They all smell amazing. So these are climbers. Yes, these ones at the front here are climbers all the way over to there. Okay. And then back as you go along the fence, you've got clematis intermixed with honeysuckle, Ugh. which the chickens should love to eat. Ugh. And it also yeah. smells great. And that's a clematis? Yes, good job. The clematis. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Yeah, the clematis and the roses are going to be such oh a Oh my nice. gosh, this is like fairyland. Mm -hmm. Well, I've already ordered furniture for here. It's We're wonderful. going to be having coffee and cocktails and what have you out here. Yes, I hope you use this space a lot. I will, believe me. <laughs> Around the sitting area here for your comfort, We've put a lot of um, citronella, which mm -hmm. smells amazing. Mm. Have you smelled it? We have to like find mm -hmm. a piece to smell. And also um, lemon grasses oh. that should help oh. with the mosquitoes. Oh. But they just smell oh, incredible. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I know, I love it. What a great plan. Well, I couldn't be happier. Look at those lupines. Oh my God, they're so gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Wonderful, thank you Good. so much. Oh my gosh, it has been my pleasure. Thank you so much. It's been such a delight. I hope you're so happy with your I am thrilled and your edible perennial chicken landscape. I am so thrilled. Yay! Thank you. Thank you very much. Some save me. All the structures of my time are insecure with false foundations, and I look for truth.